Pun, pun, pun. Something about something by young on fire. Because you know, I do that. Poof. Ow. What the frick? Boo. Meh. 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 Boo. Meh. Meh. I. Meh. Mortal. Ugh. Kamek! Kamek, get the ambulance! It's actually happening! Holy frick! My immortal. It's time for Bowser to get some sweet revenge. Ugh. Why? Why do I have to wake up? Have to eat. Have to drink. I'm mortal. I'm away from home. I'm surrounded by everything I hate. And you can't use magic. You'll work. And those amulets? You ain't getting them off, boo. I will not work for you like this. Oh no. It's revenge time. <laughs> Later. Oh, I freaking swear I'm gonna die. Somebody please kill me. Take off these freaking animals and kill me now. God freaking dang it. I can't take them off. If I could use my magic, I wouldn't need a spear. No magic, and you know why. So here's your instructor. Sergeant Simon. Bowser, you are so dead to me. Where did he get those arms? <laughs> Splat. Uh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I have arranged those flowers ten times. What do you want from me? To arrange the flowers. Be more specific. Sorry, but apparently I'm not good at being specific. <sighs> you put this on yourself, boo.
Oops. I just washed these. I know. I don't know. I mean, it looks like it's mine. It has your name on it. Bowser's, as in Junior, don't touch or you're dead. Good point. I'll take it, take it back and look again. God, freaking! Dang it! Take the freaking car! Papers, work, something, castle walls, yada yada. What? The wind! <laughs> oh, so we're starting this now, huh? Alright, boo. I called you here to let you know that my jokes are over. It's time for you to just work and learn, and not have to worry about me pranking you. I've had my fun, and I don't do torture. Learn what, Bowser? How to be mortal? Work with others? What do you want so I can go home? Sorry, Boo. You'll learn when it comes to you. But you're gonna need a, need a minion name so the others can work with you and stuff. I can't have you going around acting like you're superior to everyone. Everyone works the same here and gets treated the same. And I'm not allowed to. And I'm not about to let you get off the hook just because you're King Boo. So come up with a name and I'll see you later to give you a job, alright? Whatever. I don't care. Call me Cordette or something. Is that a freaking pun? I'm not about to freaking tell you. I want to go home. Oh, hi. The guys were telling me, but... I never usually see any other bandits during mealtime. Intriguing. How I don't care. Who said you could sit with me cause I'm a bandit? No one. Why? You brain dead? Well, I'm still alive, right? Hey, how do you eat that when we don't have sharp teeth? Ah. Uh, wow. Man, you sure are strange but cool. What about the amulets? What are they for? Eat and mind your own business. Yeah, you're right. I'll never eat if I keep on chatting. Hang in there, King. I'm sure you'll be fine. God, help me, please. I just want to be with you guys again. Me too, too. I'm so sorry this had to come across you. Just hang in there. Be strong. I will. I promise. I will. I'll come back. I swear. Huh. So it's true. Weird, yet even cooler now. Later. Will you stop following me for God's sake? Jeez, you're good. Has been caught about 30 times. What do you want from me? I don't have anything to steal. Like I care anyway, so what do you want? A cool new friend. Oh no. Go. Hey man, I got it. God dang it, go back! 
Dang. But Cordette, can you cook? Do I look like a freaking chef? Oh, no, he didn't. You'll need to work with everyone to get done. Hey, Bowser. I will allow one prank to continue. I told you, I'm not the wind. Yes, boy. Man, how many papers does he have to do every day? Luckily, I'm really smart, or I would be here forever. But wait a minute. The frick. The wind. <laughs> Tells me to cook, and I'm put in the collectors. This is so dumb. Hey, what? Rude. But hey, name's Charles. I pick up the order and give, give into the collectors and give out more. See, it's so you don't have to run all the way. Something wrong, bud? Call me bud. Again, and I'll end you, no matter how smart this operation is. I'm no one's friend, okay, bud? Ugh. <laughs> the wind, the wind. Well, ah, <laughs> yeah. What other cool tricks you got, Boo? This wind one is great. I know, right? There's so many things I do that are dastardly. You wouldn't believe. Oh, I believe. Teach me. <laughs> okay. Obviously, you won't leave me alone, so I might as well show you what I'm doing. Just don't tell anyone else. Got it? Okay. I'm trying to see if I can build up magic. Any at all. Then maybe I can go home sooner. Whoa, magic? That's so cool! Wait, why not? That's sad! I'm not from this world. I don't belong here. And even a little bit of magic will mean I'm making progress to go back. Maybe I can help. You don't have a lot of friends, do you? I'm happy with a small group. With a small group, but doesn't mean I'm not gonna try and make more. Not like I can make you leave, so fine, whatever, stay and help, I don't care. Later. I've actually never talked to magic people before, except for this one time. They said that if you, you're really low on pal, to feel your surroundings and let your spirit bond with well, almost anything. I only remember because it's fascinating. 
Oh, but they said something like, don't use shadows or negativity, I'll make you sick or evil spirits will come after you. Something like that. Pretty cool, huh? Cool? Are you one bit worried about your safety? Of course, but no spirit I've met are mean. Well, unless you bother them, of course. How about plain evil? You worried about that, or... Oh, like the ones that kidnap people? I wouldn't like to go missing, but maybe they're lonely. And want more friends. I don't know. I just don't bother the forest. Not really keen on dying yet. Or going missing. I got pancakes to eat and stuff, you know? Stuff to steal. Though I don't really like stealing either, it's not nice. You're dumb. Okay. But why? This whole conversation... I just thought you were lonely. You... are... dumb. Okay... But why? This conversation is too familiar to me. Whoa, whoa, okay, what was that? No! Don't ask why! You need to stick up for yourself! You'll never know if they're a true friend you actually want till you let out your opinion. And who cares if you hurt their feelings because they hurt yours first. Your true friends will accept your statements, okay? So you're going to turn to them and say... Sorry, but I'm not dumb. I just have dif different ideas. Good. Fine. You want the help you can. See if you can loosen this amulet. If I loosen it, he might want to be my friend. But if Bowser ever finds out, I'll be... Oh gosh. But I... I want to help him. But I... I don't want to get roasted either. Oh. <sighs> right. You have permission to touch me. For a new friend! Just let me know if it hurts your hand or wrist. Sure. It took me two hours to steal a mask that fit me and was blank to draw on it. You better freaking appreciate this, Lemmy. Wow. Two hours! Ah, ah, ah. Ugh. Pouch! Oh shoot. Ow. Uh, I can't believe you just done this! I will end you! Help me. The hair! I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, please stop. I'm so uncomfortable. King Boop be my 
friend or I'll throw you into a black hole. Sam, yes, I'll be friends with them. And you, you don't scare me. But since you're friends with Sam, yeah, whatever, let's be friends. Bruh, my OC controls space and time continuums, and the other can create supernovas. Jeez. Man, I'm not used to this. Look, I don't want to be your enemy, and I can't fight in this condition, so I'm sorry for any sarcasm. Let's be great friends. While you're in this mortal form, take Rosalina! <laughs> it's not worth it. Kill me now! Get that freaking knife away from him now! Ah! Just let me die! Really? A god dang tie? Kill me. I want to die. I do not want this. I guess this is your first date as well. Boy, aren't you observant? And you most likely know who I really am too, huh? Since I kinda have to do this, I'm going to pretend I don't know you and just try to have fun. For your own sanity, just pretend I'm a boo or something, you know? <sighs> you say it like it's so easy. I'll try. It's all I can do. That's all I ask. Boo! Boo! What did you do? This isn't a natural supernova. Oh shoot, they must have gotten my letter late. What letter? Let's just say they said they could beat me and I threatened their life. Boo, you can't threaten people from other universes! Fix this now! Uh, crazy, crazy, are you there? Look, that letter was from before. Before we were friends. I'm sorry, okay? I don't want to kill you. Please come out of there, and then you, me, and Rose can do something fun, okay? Oh, MFG, I'm so dumb. Ooh. I'll take you wherever you want. It may be cliche, but it's polite. You know what else is polite? Not sending death threats to strangers. At least I apologized. Give me some slack. Once, but only because it worked. Now I'd like to ice skate. You must change. Why? Those are your everyday clothes, not proper day to tire. I'll be changing as well. Okay, then I'll see you there. At 8 p.m. Deal. Huh, when this table get here? Huh? Later at 8 p.m. God, I'm nervous. What if Busu thinks I like her? What if Busu finds out in general? Okay, Boo, relax. Just imagine she's not mortal. You are not mortal. Skate like you would dance with a Boo. Be gentle. Go slow. She is not your enemy. She is not your enemy. She is not... Hello again. Okay. Relax. Just get through this. You can do it. Go. Hello, Rosalina. You look very nice. Allow me to introduce myself. My name's Claudette. And I'll be giving you a wondrous time. Just ignore the bounties on my head. <laughs> I'll forget all about them if I have fun. You will. Just not too much fun. Definitely.
apparently this person is determined to die. Later. I'm but are you okay? I just broke a man's arm for touching my butt. Please don't leave my side again. I don't like hurting people. I do. I'll break his dang soul. Not necessary. I'm fine. Really. It is too necessary. Even if we don't mean to get serious, you are my date. And no one should touch you wrong. Now show me where he went so I can break his other arm. This will amuse you, since you won't let it go. I'll stop when your arms are so broken you can't feel them anymore. Touch another girl like that and I'll find you. And you will wish you were dead. I had fun. How about you? Yeah, wasn't bad at all. Hmm? What? What is it? Oh, um... Sorry about the whole black hole thing. I really gotta stop being so dense. Ha <laughs> ha. I'll... okay, bye. <laughs> it's not that I necessarily hate puns, it's that I hate black holes. Why? Why did you do this to me? It's okay, if one of my friends sent me a letter saying that they were going to kill me, I'd be pretty ticked too. It's all a big misunderstanding. You're fine, really. Y yes really you are okay. It's not your fault, it's his. It can be forgiven. Are you sure she's still there? All I can see is her phone. Well, even if she's not there... Well, she'll be able to hear us. I'm sure of it. Wanna play chess? Sure. Why not? The end. If you want more Cordette, just let me know. I'm trying to decide on what character to do big comic dub on next. Um, yes, there is this whole story arc thing between me and Crazy Creeper Flame. Actually, I'm gonna show you the YouTubers that were also, um, in on this, cooperating. Why? There's Crazy Creeper Flame. Which I just drew their little logo there to represent them. And there was... Nope, not, not that one again. Lemmy Koopa. I just drew Lemmy to represent them. That's what they sent to make King Boo uh, do that with her mask. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> but, yeah. There's your cordette for you. Jeez, this was 30 minutes long. Wow, that's my longest one yet. Probably never going to get one that long again. So, let me know who you want next. Full Bowser comic dub? Or it's just Bowser doing crap? It's awful. 
uh, Antasma, he's alive. Um, some of the boos. Koopalings. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, some Pokemon ones, because I'm making some things for Pokemon. I actually already made one Pokemon thing. There, okay, I'm gonna just show this off because it's freaking amazing. And because you're gonna be wondering. So there's this kid in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I'm not sure if he's in Sun and Moon, but I'm pretty sure he is. He's a trainer. He's just standing there. He's like, uh, hey. Yeah, let's battle. Go kneecaps. And he throws out this Rattata, okay? <laughs> he throws out a Rattata. It's not named kneecaps or anything. So... I see this, and you can probably guess what happens next. <laughs> She's just looking for his wallet. His knee, his knees just pop right off. There he, <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm laughing over my talk, but just doesn't give a crap. Looks for his wallet. He's in pain. Go kneecaps. Pokemon and their trainers is just amazing. There are so many trainers like this. For example, shorts. I like shorts. They're short and, e and comfy to wear. Or something like that. And yes, she's supposed to look like a Girl Scout. Named her Captain Boo. Going around stomping kids because, you know, boos are broken. We all learned that lesson from seeing Fawful get whooped. Boos are broken. Never change that or I will find you. And I will murder you.